My God, everybody, who didn't think to use a microphone once. Oh he wrote jokes. I was amazed. I was terrified. Uh, is it cool if I do a sex joke? Does that sound weird? I feel like we've all gotten to know each other really well tonight. Normally I do a joke where I say, how are you guys doing? And then I'm like, I feel like we've gotten to know each other really well, but I feel like you guys know me better than anyone else in my life now. And uh, I'm going to admit something to all of you that I have not told a lot of people. Guys, I am into the nickname Daddy. And after what just transpired, I'm think rethinking this joke. Uh, it's tough. I hate that it works for me. I really, I wish otherwise. I... The hardest part about it is finding a girl who's willing, you know, to let me call her that, and... <laughs> uh, I don't know how to continue off of that. What about that one? Tell you a bit more about myself. Guys, I'm a big Weezer fan. Ah, huh? Weezer fan? Some sarcastic claps? Some sarcastic claps? You a Weezer fan? No, of course not. I'm, I'm a Weezer fan. I, I have the shirt. I'm, I'm part of the official Weezer fan club. You guys don't know who Weezer is. That's fine. Part of the official Weezer fan club. That costs $70 to join in 2019 for some reason. I don't know what... Weezer needs that money for. You know what the per the perks of being in the Weezer fan club are? I could buy this shirt for $35. It's, it's beautiful. Weezer isn't a sexy band. Like I can't use that. I can't I can't like see a girl and be like, <clears throat> "Hey girl." <laughs> Big Weezer fan, huh? <laughs> Don't you want to know what it's like to make out next to two Weezer wall flags? I have two Weezer wall flags in my bedroom, which is three too many. Like, don't you want to know what it's like to make out next to two Weezer wall flags? I know I'm still curious. <laughs> Guys, uh, when I was in high school, a lot of the other kids thought I was gay because, you know, I was in theater. The daddy thing probably had something to do with it. Also, I'm a little gay, so I gave off that. I gave off that vibe. I did. Uh, I can't remember if I've told my dad this yet, but I'm actually. I am bisexual. Which is, thank you, we exist, it's fantastic. You're about to either witness a beautiful moment or a disowning live on stage. It's fantastic. It's weird for me though, that like the other kids called me gay and I was like, no I'm not, like that, no I'm not. It's weird for me that they figured it out before I did. Like they, like they helped me realize who I am. Well obviously they didn't help me. <laughs> they weren't shouting things like, hey queer! Be who you are on the inside! <laughs> That's not what it was. They hit me is what it was. Uh, oh, I know, I know. Uh, guys, I actually, I, I am seeing someone right now. I found my daddy, thank you, thank you. She's great. She actually grew up in LA. And I, as uh, my dad so kindly said, grew up in uh, Hickville, Ajax, Ontario, which is very much not LA. Like, she went to a school called Hollywood High, which, yes, is in fact the bad guy school in every teen sports movie you've ever seen. 
And I was like, that must have been so cool. And she's like, yeah, whatever. You know, they filmed Buffy the Vampire Slayer there. Wait, the coolest thing that happened at my high school is the time the police tasered Josh in front of the 7-Eleven. That was the day. That was the day. And it was like 2008, so he was like, don't tase me, bro. And it was relevant. It was... It was spot on. Uh, someone actually told me once that I should stand up straighter while I'm on stage. And I didn't realize I was telling gay jokes. I... <laughs> Hey, 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 it bodes well for the next minute that you responded positively. I have more. I have more. Guys, who's the worst person at entangling headphones? Who? Come on. <laughs> who's the worst person at entangling headphones? A Russian astronaut, because they cosmonauts. <laughs> My guy. It wasn't worth the build up. It wasn't worth to go back for that one. Uh, my mop bucket's sick. He's a little pale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the reaction I always hope for on that joke. <laughs> the one lone. <laughs> Guys, it is hard to do comedy, okay? Because not only do I have to get up here after my dad, which I do every night, obviously, it's always in the contract, is I have to have conversations with people where they find out I'm a comedian, and all of you guys react the same way. And someone's like, you're a comedian? <laughs> Tell me a joke. No! That's not, that's not how this, you don't do that to any other profession. No one's like, you're an accountant, do some math. Come on. I don't believe you. Like, no one's like, oh, you're a firefighter. Do the thing, do the thing. Do the thing. No, it's not me. Like, I'm not the problem. No one does that with my day job. Like, no one's like, oh, you work retail? Cry for me. Cry. Can you cry? I want to see it live. I'm a dental hero, guys. Thanks. Have a good night. Imagine that.